particular estimate of revenue and expenditure of the Republic of the Gambia, 1st January to 31st December 2018, both dates inclusive. Thank you very much. Honorable members will recall that the, that the Honorable Minister for Finance and Economic Affairs on Monday, the 27th of November 2017, officially tabled before this Honorable Assembly the 2018 draft estimates of revenue and expenditure of the Republic of the Gambia, January 1st to 31st of December 2018, both dates inclusive for debate and adoption. Therefore, we shall today commence the debate on the said important document. As it was recalled that it was seconded by the Honorable Member for Lower Salom on that very day, we shall accordingly proceed to the debate proper. Now, any honorable, any honorable member who may wish to take part in the debate may raise his or her constituency tag to be recorded by the table clerks and to be given the floor in that order. But before giving any honorable member the floor, may we remind ourselves and respect the rules of debate as enshrined in the standing orders under clause 36.1 and also 37.1. Furthermore, I will also employ honorable members to peruse and respect clause 73, sorry, clause 70, sub clause 3 of the same standing orders. I therefore appeal to all honorable members to respect and observe the said rules as indicated. Um, but honorable members, before I give the floor for the debate proper to commence, I would like to inform everybody that the honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs has made some amendments and adjustments to the draft, draft estimates that was earlier circulated. So I wish to allow the Honorable Minister, with your permission, to explain and the document will be circulated. I think it's a two or, two or three page adjustments so that the, the adjustments together with this copy will be read together and the debate will pro start proper. So those in favor of that suggestion, please say aye. 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 Please, those in favor for the minister to, to, to table before us the additional information, adjustments on the budget. Those in favor? Aye. No, those not in favor, no. So the eyes have it. May I now call on the Honorable Minister to inform this House. Thank you. Um, good morning. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members of this Assembly, um, I thank you for the opportunity to present to you some amendments which we thought are essential um, in our drive for fiscal consolida consolidation and economic growth. Um, the draft budget that was earlier submitted to you. So this is to strengthen the government's fiscal policy and economic policy for 2018. Um, I'll go through the amendments, but um, the basic tenet of this amendment is that 
we observed that we had overestimated um, a debt repayment on behalf of NAWEC, um, that's the 2.1 billion dollars in debt, um, which we have factored in 900 million dollars for 2018. But uh, given the fact that we had renegotiated this uh, debt um, instead of five years, of which three years had gone, to repay the 2.1 billion for two years, uh, we have negotiated and agreed with the banks, which was signed, and it's now going to be repaid for seven years. So this has reduced the yearly debt service burden on the budget. So this is what we want to reflect. And we have adjusted some essential line items uh, with these savings um, on this debt service payment. And there were other revenue major measures which um, were not fully captured in the budget, and I'll explain those. Just a few of those here. So, with your permission, honorable speaker, the first adjustment I have um, one is on the allowances vote. Um, this, the detail of it, is on the new vehicle policy that the government has approved in cabinet um, to give vehicles only one to the ministers and one to permanent secretaries. Now this policy, uh, maybe I won't explain in detail um, because it, was, it will take quite a while for you, um, will mean that we will offload a lot of the excess vehicles that we have running around and costing a lot uh, for the taxpayer in terms of servicing fuel and new vehicles. So, but we realize that the junior ones, maybe some of who benefited from lifts and so on, um, an additional transport allowance was approved by cabinet that's uh, given a thousand dollars on each individual from grade one to eight. This has an impact of about 320 million on the budget. So this has been catered for. The next one is on the uh, severance packet, potential severance of some of those uh, drivers that will be affected because if you uh, stop using a number of vehicles. If those vehicles have drivers, they may be affected. So we have put in a 20 million um, to cater for a severance packet to give them a new start in uh, some form of uh, business or driving. Um, the other adjustment is on the general service expense and the president's office. That was 20 million. We added a uh, 2 million there um, to cater for um, certain incidental expenses which we recognize had not been catered for. Um, then we have their travel vote, which we had reduced significantly, but with the savings available, we increased it by 18 million from 57 to 75 million. The other one is the subventions vote for MDI, because they've moved MDI from President's Office to uh, Ministry of Higher Education, and so we had to put another 14 million um, to cater for the additional subvention for phase two of the ACE project. And that's African Center of Excellence project, uh, which we expect to materialize in 2018. Then um, we have um, an operational cost on the higher education for 3.3 million, um, and then another incidental awards for uh, 
scholarships to students abroad of another fifty thousand dollars. Then school laboratories and facilities for TVET project seven point six million. We had also put aside for arbitration and court awards. Um, it was a hundred million in the budget that is before you, but we increased it by ten million because uh, these are award of damages by the national and ECOWAS courts. And so uh, we had to put something. We already have some awards which we have to pay by the ECOWAS courts for the late data uh, hire and chief money, but we have to put something. And sometimes you have court cases against the government and um, government loses, we have to pay. So this is what was provided for in that. Then the civil service loan scheme, the estimates before you was 40 million. We increased it to 60 million. That is to support the new vehicle policy. Instead of using government vehicles, we allow civil servants from the DPS downwards, uh, those who qualify to apply for their own vehicles. Um, then we have increased uh, uh, input subsidies of 75 million by another 25 million to 100 million. Um, this is for the fertilizers and seed nuts for the farmers that um, we are budgeting. Um, so this is the estimate um, that we put. We thought it's uh, reasonable to put it at 100 million dollars. Then uh, we have specialized and technical materials. We put 50 million for the uh, hospitals for equipment to uh, buy necessary basic life-saving equipment because we know that the state of our hospitals today is very deplorable. We are already taking measures to provide them with funds this year, 2017 to get some of the much needed uh, health equipment um, to save uh, lives and provide uh, quality health services to the citizens. So this additional 50 million for 2018 will try to fill the gap in, uh, in our health service delivery system in the items that are lacking. And you find that most of the time you go and say, this is missing, this item, this consumable and so on. So we want to try to break that gap. And then um, uh, for the global phone project, we have an operating cost under the health service. We've put 10 million because they want counterpart funds for them to roll in their next uh, program. We have ma other major rehabilitation works, an additional 8 million has been put for uh, for the medical uh, personnel to build um, quarters for them, um, especially the department that is renting out. Um, we want to put another floor um, at the central medical stores to, to cater for their departments that are renting outside in not so conducive environment. Um, we've put another five million on medical um, for the refer reverse linkage program that the medical school is uh, uh, implementing with Turkey because we have to provide the, um, the lab and the infrastructure and under the reverse linkage they will provide the equipment, the microscope and other medical facilities. So we'll benefit from that. But we have to provide the environment and the way this thing, the lab and the facilities. So over five million has been provided for that. Um, additional fuel cost for justice, 25, uh, that's 250,000 has been put forward. Um, this is additional fuel for judges. Uh, for the Justice Ministry, as they move from court to court. Um, then for Fisheries Department, there's a project preparation facility for a water and sanitation project. 
we put one million there. And then we have um, equity contribution um, for an Islamic finance institution to help provide funds for SMEs. The ITB is spearheading this, uh, working with Central Bank and the Ministry of Finance. And it, this institution would require some capital contributions. And government is putting up 20 million for this, for the private sector uh, to benefit. So we increase it by 6 million, it becomes 26 million dollars is for 2018 budget. And then um, under the Asikuda wall, there is a financing gap where the government needs to contribute. We put additional 11.1 million. That will take care of the new customs um, software and it will improve the uh, monitoring, reporting, and uh, processing. Uh, hopefully, the efficiency will improve significantly. So, the total package under this uh, Asipuda wall is 13.5 million. Um, under subventions, um, we have under youth and sports, we've added um, three, 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 and three million. That's 12 million additional for youth empowerment under the um, National Youth Service Scheme, the National Enterprise Development Initiative, and the President's Award Scheme, and then the Youth Skills Development. Um, so we put in, inject in another 12 million, hopefully to train our youth in skills development under these institutions. Um, we have another 15 million uh, projected for feasibility studies on our roads infrastructure. You know, we have about 3,000 kilometers of roads that we need to really bring up to standard. So we need to have uh, technical studies on this so that we can try to source for uh, its financing, funding. Um, then the major item here that uh, helped in all this redistribution is the subvention on the centralized votes. It was 900 million for NAVIC. And that's what I explained initially in my introduction. But now we are putting 460 million because of the restructuring agreed with the banks. So we are grateful to the banks for the support. At least it has reduced our bill and we are able to take care of a lot of these other social sectors, education and health to increase their votes. So that one is reduced by 440 million. Um, so now the revenue adjustments that we incorporate in here, the gateway proceeds, um, which we are siphoned by the former president, um, now we've estimated to earn the country 640 million in 2018. Um, 150 was budgeted, but um, realistically, when we revalued it, we expect 640 million in that. So that's an additional 490 million income. Um, then on rice, we're making a special effort because we think to impact for the poor Gambian with the household survey showing that quite a significant percentage of our population uh, under the poverty line. So we thought by reducing the import duty on rice from the 10% to 0%, um, we are giving up a revenue of 143 million. Hopefully that will bring down the cost to a, an affordable level for the um, average citizen. Um, then the other revenue measure is, um, and on the import of vehicles, we say new vehicles we're trying to encourage uh, to reduce their import tax from 25% to 20%. But for all vehicles, 
um, that are less than five years old, we reduce the rate from 15 to 10 percent. But if it's more than five years, we maintain the 15 percent that exists currently. Now, this is to avoid Gambia becoming a dumping ground. These old, old vehicles you find parked everywhere, a lot of pollution and ecological consequences. We thought this may be a measure to try to send a signal to those importing cars, that bring quality cars and try to save us from the pollution that we are facing. Um, then, in terms of the corporate tax, we want to stimulate the economy. Um, we want to bring down the rate from 30% to 27%. By this, we are giving up something like 40 million um, revenue. And also, um, the personal income tax um, for the entire uh, workforce, um, the maximum at 30% will come down to 25%. And the tax-free rate will rise from $18,000 to $24,000. So now, if you are earning up to $2,000, the tax country will be zero. So this will add some net take-home pay for the lower income. Um, also, it will affect all the uh, salary earners because the bonds will change because the top rate has been reduced from 30 to 25 percent. So we hope everybody will have a little in the pocket. We cannot do a full salary restructuring, but at least we think we've done a little bit <laughs> for the workforce. Um, the other item um, is on the rental income tax, which is at 15 percent on commercial uh, rents and 10% on residential rent. We want to bring the 15% down to 10% and from 10% for residential to 8%. And this has a small impact of just 19 million on the budget. So given all these um, adjustments, um, the savings we had from the NAVIC and the revenue increase in the gateway actually cater for this redistribution in the budget. Mr. Speaker, I thank you very much. For this. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Um, honorable members, I believe the, the adjustments has been, the document has been circulated. Everybody has a copy. Those without copies, can you raise your constituency tag so that the table office can? Observation, ma'am. Three. Pardon? Observation. Sorry? Observation. Point of order, point of order. Yes. Can I, can I finish with this before you oh, okay. give your observation? Everybody has a copy? Yes. yes. Everybody has a copy? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, can I have your observation? Lower body Um, I think we need to adjourn this session for the simple Sorry, fact. Sorry, can you speak a little bit louder so that I can... Hear I say, you? I think we need to adjourn this session. You for, need to? We need to adjourn this session for the simple fact that um, if you go back to the Constitution, um, 152, clause 18, the National Assembly shall, within 14 days of the estimate being laid before it, give consideration and approve the estimate. And if there is changes in this estimate, I think we are dealing with the life of our people here. We are dealing with the type of? The life of our people. The life of our people. So I think we still The rights of our people. Lives. lives, oh. The life of our people. So Nobody, I think we, I don't think anybody is disputing that. Yeah, so uh, I think we need time to digest this in order to understand the content in it. Because we are given 14 days to go over this document here. So if there is any adjustment here, I don't think we can just go into that within hours to make 
and, and a consideration in this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, yes, Honorable. Well, is it observation? Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, thank you, Ma, for giving me the floor. Actually, I tend to concur with my, my Honorable colleague. Um, for the mere fact that with all these changes that we have as amendments, they are really very significant. Now, I'm um, going through just perusing, I can realize that we'll still have a deficit. Please. But we'll still have a deficit. But how this deficit will be financed by domestic or, 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 or international borrowing, we, we need to be very clear on that. How much of the deficit will be financed domestically and how much of the deficit will be financed <coughs> internationally? And that is not captured on this amendment that we actually have seen. And it will be um, important that we actually understand how the deficit that we have will be, will be, will be, will be, will be corrected by the, by the ministry. Observation? And yes. Your mic, please, can you put it on? Thank you. Okay. What we will want to do is that we want to pass a motion so that we can adjourn this till tomorrow. At least we go back to the drawing board and look at it, please. I think you should give them this mic. They, it's not loud enough. Uh, there's another one there, okay. I say I would like to put a, a motion, move a motion that we are joined till tomorrow. Yes, that's your motion. Yes. Yeah, uh, Honorable um, Banjul North, yes. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I think uh, what should be done is uh, going by what he said. We have to follow constitutional procedure. What the minister should have done is to wait until we debate this and then he comes up with these adjustments. Otherwise, because otherwise uh, he's preempting our interventions. Let him wait until we start the debate and in his response he can come up with these adjustments. I think that's the best that's the way for rather than adjourning this debate. Let's just proceed because the constitution has provided for a time and then that time is you not know, being 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 being, being no, abided that's by. Your point of view, yeah. Honorable Usumbana. <laughs> I rise to pass the motion that we suspend this session still tomorrow. Thank you. Somebody? Huh? Central body. Yes, can I, I understand? I'm um, sorry. To, to, um, the motion was stable. Any second? Yes, thank you. Now, can I go to... Um, Central Badibu. Thank you, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me the floor. Um, but we, 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 we give the minister a chance to read. No, we, we give the minister a chance to read this control. I don't think, I don't think it works for us to adjourn this debate. So, I don't think it works for us to adjourn this debate. We can debate on this. Do you understand? So, I'm also putting up a motion that we continue the session. <laughs> Yes, I rise to second the motion. Which motion? The motion to adjourn the debate. Yeah? It has been seconded. It has already been seconded. Yes. Any, any, any more observations? Because there are two motions. One for adjournment, not suspension. Adjournment till tomorrow or we proceed today. Madam. Uh, Ma? Yes, let me get um, Iliasa. You continue. Good. Not in that case, let, why don't we vote? Yes. I think it's better we vote. No, let, let, let's put it for the, uh, to the vote. Those in favor of um, adjournment. The minister. Uh, sorry. Sorry, can we? No. Madam. Can we allow the... No. <laughs> okay. Let me speak. Let me allow Honorable Jata. Uh, I think... 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 I think...
Yeah. I think the best procedure is we have to deal with that. Yeah. I thought you were having No, no, no. no. Shall we put it to the vote? Those in favor for adjournment till tomorrow, can you count? Yes. Tomorrow. Put the address in your hand. No, 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 sir. No, but I'm sorry. But I'm sorry. Well, I cannot inter I, I, I cannot stop the vote right now. Huh? I cannot stop the vote right now. We are taking the counts. Can you raise your hand up please so that you can take um, Those in favor for continuation, proper procedure huh? and then we will hear you and honorable um, um, the, the the votes have been taken and counted those in favor for adjournment was 36 in favor and four for continuation so the adjournment has it so we will at we will stand adjourned till tomorrow for continuation. But let me just remind honorable members that the period that was allocated for the debate of the estimates is three days. Today, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So now it means we have two days. Yes, so let's bear that in mind so that the time allocated to everybody. Yes. Now, please, before I adjourn formally, I just want to hear honorable yeah, Madam Speaker, what, what I wanted to say is... No, 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 not on the motion. Yes. Of course. I know. Sorry. I just want to let that one go. So, yes. Honorable, we have to go by procedures. No, the proce no, no, the procedure. no, no, Madam Speaker. No, I just want to... No, what I wanted to say is... Uh -huh. was that there are two, uh, two or three understand, points on the floor. Yeah. One said, it's quoting the Constitution for 14 years notice should be given to the members of National Assembly to, to, to check, to scrutinize the, 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 the budget. Now, others are saying, uh, to, uh, about two who at first said for two days, uh, uh, sorry, for one day, that is tomorrow. Now, that's what I want to say, because, you know, you did not vote for the 14 days, for the ministers to give us on some 14 days. We, uh, not, we never voted for that, and that has been on the floor. I, I, I think so I, I, in my view, mm -hmm. I see that on the election it is not fair. But it's not fair simply because on the the first proposal was to give 14 days. It's by okay. quoting the constitution. So if you if you voted for Madam Speaker for only those for tomorrow and then those said we continue. I, I'm not seeing the election as a fair election. Very Madam well, Speaker. thank you, Honourable for Bikama North. Just. Let's allow them to speak. Well, since the motion for the adjournment has already been passed. Please, can you, can you give him the mic so that we can all hear? Thank you. Well, yes, go ahead. I join my colleagues to vote for the continuation of the debate. On, unfortunately, no, so, um, sorry, you, yeah, you cannot speak on that. Unfortunately, motion. yeah, you cannot. 
If you have other things, if that is it, unfortunately, no, I'm afraid you cannot raise any issue on that. I'm not raising an issue. I'm just suggesting that since we have voted for the adjournment on the basis that we want to go in detail to better understand the rationale behind the adjustment because we are dealing with the lives of the people as that was the recent advance to better make good use of that um, as far as the day is concerned i'm suggesting if we can retire to have all party caucus for the minister to properly uh, clarify certain issues that may be of concern or doubt to us so that tomorrow when we come we'll be in better position to continue with the debate that's my position I, I think if you want, if uh, if honourable members want to caucus, they can have it today. You know, they can have it today. Use today so that we will not lose today. Use today for the caucus, and then we proceed with the um, with the consideration proper tomorrow. All that I want to draw your attention to is that this is not um, it's it's not a, how would I even call it? It's not a separate document. It now forms part and parcel of, of, of the estimates. So we just clip it there, and we go through the various amendments with regards to the sectors or the heads that have been affected. So really, I don't see any problem in that. I appreciate the fact that some people would like to have a better understanding. Fair enough. But then I was expecting that during the course of the debates, you know, explanations could be given, concerns raised, and then the minister could come in and explain and so forth. But since the House has decided that they want it adjourned till tomorrow, fine. We have to go by the dictates of procedure, and that is the House will have to adjourn for tomorrow. But in the meantime, if you want a caucus, the Honorable Minister and his team are here, you are free to do that. Just consult the table office and they will facilitate it, as, as, as they will facilitate the, the bills. That's what I was saying. So it is proposed that, and has been seconded, that the House stands adjourned till tomorrow at 10 a.m. Those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those not in favor, say no. So the ayes have it. Yes. So you can engage the Honourable Minister. You can have your focus. Thank you. You can, you can, and you can use Committee Room 1. Are we going to? Can we have it? Huh? No, no, no. We, we cannot. The house has been adjourned.